The girl injured by an exploding can of hairspray is out of the hospital, and one of her first stops today was a visit to Detroit police. Guys, you're with us for Local 4 News at 6. It has been quite an ordeal for 14-year-old Tanaja Brown. It really has been. She's been at Children's Hospital since last Saturday after a can of hairspray exploded in her face as she was getting her hair done by an unlicensed stylist. Then the teen and her mom went and made sure Detroit police are aware of what took place. Sean Lay is live where this happened on the west side of Detroit in on McNichols. Sean, good evening. Good evening, Kimberly and Devin. It took us a couple of days because we thought Tanasia was injured at a salon on McNichols here on Six Mile. No, we found it here at this clothing boutique. Nice shop, but way in the back is one chair where this person, unlicensed stylist, was doing hair. This is where the explosion took place where Tanasia was badly injured. But here's the deal. Tonight, we've learned that that stylist is booking appointments right now. Local 4 cameras are outside the Detroit Police 8th Precinct this afternoon to see 14-year-old Tanasia Brown walk out with her mother, Latima Johnson. Brown has been released from Children's Hospital, an exploding can of hairspray, taking away vision in one of her eyes, and shattered bones in her face. It happened here at the Spoil Me Rotten Clothing Boutique on Six Mile. Brown was having her hair done by an Instagram hairstylist who did not have a license. The stylist admitted... She placed a flammable hairspray on a curling iron heater, causing the can to explode in Brown's face. Mother and daughter making a police report today, wanting the stylist and the shop owner to be charged. Meanwhile, we can tell you the city of Detroit's Building Safety, Engineering, and Environmental Department has shut the boutique down while the state can investigate the unlicensed hairstylist. And B-Seed has identified the building's owner and they have questions for him. Meanwhile, the incident has gotten attention from licensed hairstylists. A stylist reacting to what happened and posting her thoughts on YouTube. Like a freak accident, an explosion at a local hair salon. Oh my goodness. Them irons are very, very, very hot. They're extremely hot. You just gotta be extremely careful out here, you know, especially in a salon, in a salon setting. You know, there's only so much sorry that could, that could fix anything. Back here live, yes, the stylist has apologized, but here, like today, we saw this on the stylist Instagram page. Click book now. So the stylist now taking appointments. I'm very, I am very sorry for the unfortunate events, but I still have to make ends meet. If the stylist is doing hair, it's not here. The city has shut this place down until the city and state can investigate. Back to you. Uh, Sean, I understand now that you're learning Tanaja's mother is being harassed. Talk a little bit about that. In her apologies, the stylist put text exchange with the mom on her Instagram page. She has a lot of followers, complete with the mom's phone number. People are now harassing her. My she says goodness. she has to change the number right away. Just awful. Okay, Sean, mm -hmm. thanks.